Hello and welcome to our morning meditation. Have you ever been told something so outlandish, like a promise that comes to you and you know that it can't be true and yet you secretly hold out a hope that it just might be possible? I think that's what's happening with Abraham and Sarah, that ancient couple from the early part of the book of Genesis in the Bible with whom God makes a new covenant. Now it's not just with Abraham, but he makes a covenant that Abraham will have descendants so many descendants will be a great nation and the Lord promises them a promised land of Canaan. Wow, what a gift of hope. Abraham's part of the covenant, his commitment is to walk with God, to trust in God's power and be faithful and blameless. If Abraham does that, God promises to make of his descendants a great and numerous nation. Well, it all sounds good. There's just one little snag in this. They have no children. Abraham and Sarah don't have a child between them to carry their name, no one to get married, no one to have grandchildren and great-grandchildren that could produce all those descendants. So was God wrong about this covenant, this promise God has made with Abraham? Had God not looked at Abraham and his wife, Sarah? They have great hair and lots of wrinkles, and they're not spring chickens. How can this promise be? How can God possibly fulfill this covenant? This window reminds us of those ancestors of faith from long ago who lived tense as they listened to God, as they worshiped God faithfully. Abraham is considered the father of Israel. And so this story is told more than once in the Bible. In fact, twice in the book of Genesis. And each time they can't believe it and they laugh at God. Have you ever laughed at God at a promise? Genesis says that Abraham heard the news and he fell on his face laughing at God. Have you looked at us lately, he said? I'm a hundred. Sarah is 90. Can a child be born to anyone like us? The other part of the covenant story is told to Sarah. It's from her point of view as she hides inside the tent, eavesdropping on the conversation between Abraham and the messenger from God. Scripture says that she laughed out loud and says, how in the world can this be? Shall I indeed at my old age have a child? And when God replies to her, we hear again words we're going to hear again in the New Testament. In the Gospel of Luke, when a woman named Mary, a young woman, is baffled that she too will be pregnant, and she hears the words, is anything too wonderful for God? For the Lord God promises that their descendants will be as many as the stars in the heavens and the grains of sand on the sea. And by the way, the Lord says to them, when your son is born, I already have a name picked out for him. You shall call him Isaac, which means laughter, because with God's covenant promises, nothing is too impossible or hard. Let us pray. Loving God, you're the keeper of covenants and promises. Be with us when your good news is just too hard to believe. Give us hope and faith to trust in you each and every day. Amen. Go now in peace.